going to the Dollar Tree. We're going to the Dollar Tree. All right, guys, we are at the Dollar Tree on a Friday night, about to get turned up over in here. Gonna do a little bit of shopping, see what they have that's new for fall. I have some specific fall things in mind I wanna get, but I also just kinda wanna see what they have. I haven't just like gone shopping at the Dollar Tree since I did my spring shop with me. Right away, I see they have some styrofoam pumpkins. I have some DIYs I'm gonna do with this. These are great to get because you can just paint them, spray paint them, or paint them color. These are really cute. I'm gonna get one of these. They have this one, it's cute. And then they have these little like wooden ones. What do you think pumpkin kisses are? <laughs> <laughs> like kisses from pumpkin spice things. <gasps> Look at these little salt and pepper shakers. These are so cute. Little pumpkin ones. The squirrel ones and then little owls. All right, I'm gonna get some garland because I'm gonna attempt to make a new wreath for our front door. I'm just gonna get like, I don't wanna be like approximate with the numbers, but like I'm thinking like a shit ton of them will be enough. Do you think that's enough? Look at this little mini straw bale. What would you do with this? Like a straw bale for a mouse's barn? Okay, if you can think of something you would do with this tiny miniature straw bale, leave me a comment down below because like I can't beats me <laughs> I'm too pregnant to pick that up so will you do it will you do it for me being pregnant's hard this is madness you guys Christmas stuff we haven't got to Halloween we haven't gotten to Thanksgiving and we have Christmas I just can't I can't I can't go down this aisle I can't do it all right they got these creepy kind of eyeballs on them Okay, these are adorable. They're little lights, and they look like little solo cups. What is this? It's an owl. But like, just like, is it, you just put it like it's decor, or is it supposed to do something? Here we are, in the gift wrapping aisle, that looks the same year after year, season after season. There's nothing new to see here. I don't know, these are, these look new. These like wedding ones are actually pretty cute. Here I am eating my words, saying it never changes. Is sending Halloween cards like a thing I didn't know about because I've never sent a card for Halloween, but apparently there's a lot of choices. I mean, they're very cute. Okay, this is my Halloween card from, from me to you. Look at these little tea lights they have for Halloween. They've got little pumpkin ones and little skull ones. Those are cute. Here, we got a little more Halloween stuff here. Is this a mask? It's not a mask. You like hang it on your door. I do want to get some frames though because I have some DIY projects that I'm working on for the nursery. I need frames for them. I'm gonna DIY with these. Can you pick that up for me? Cause I'm too pregnant to pick it up. Okay, they have these for fall. These are pretty cute. Look at these little vases. Those would be cute on a centerpiece. They have them in green too. And then I'm gonna get some of these because you can always make really good centerpieces any time of year, just depending on what you fill them with. Whoa, look at these. They're little votive candle holders and they even, they're battery operated so you don't even have to put a candle inside of them. And then they have just kind of, this, this is a drinking glass. This is not for candles. Is this for candles? I always like to pick up the tea lights when I'm at the Dollar Tree. I have no idea if they're like the best cost because you can get like really big packs of them, but a dollar for 16 of them is great. I use them in my oil diffusers. I use them in little things like this. They're good. The most important aisle. Oh, look at how cute these little candle votives are for Halloween. They have the orange ones, the green ones, and then they have like these ones. They also just have all these like cute little pumpkins. They have gold ones. They have these metallic ones. Michael, what are you doing? I do some less. <laughs> Michael's getting pizzas, of course. All right, they got a little fall display here. They have some of these little, what would you use these for? Like oil and vinegar, I guess. I guess it'd be cute to put water in too. And water. Like, these would be better because it would be hard to pour the water out of these, but it'd be cute to put water in these and put them out on the table for like Thanksgiving or, or if you're having a party or wine, whatever you want to do, you know. And then obviously you've got the storage bins in the, ho in the holiday colors. It's like they come out with a new color every season. More 
making a, a DIY for my bathroom that this might be cute in. Well, look at all these friendly little faces. I like love these because I'm always carrying around water and I love having these instead of bottles of water. I could be seasonal. I could be seasonal with my water drinking. If you need a, a seasonal beer glass. We have all the fall plates and cups out, which are cute. Lots of little odds and ends that you could use for all sorts of different DIYs. But what I like over here is these all the ribbons. Look at all the like fall ribbons they have. These are really cute for fall. I like having them for like um, when you have people over and usually I buy them at Marshalls for like $2.99 a pack. Did you find your perfect beer koozie, Michael? <laughs> this beer koozie was made for Michael. All right, I'm back home. It is the next day. I'm gonna share with you what I picked up from the Dollar Tree just sitting on the floor in my bedroom because who needs a fancy YouTube background? Okay, so the first thing I got was one of those cute little felt banners that they had for like only a dollar. I feel like this was a total steal. Next, I just picked up some um, flowers, like some fall color colored flowers. I honestly usually don't decorate a ton for fall. People who decorate for every season, you literally like deserve a round of applause because that I find that overwhelming. You decorating for Halloween and then it's Thanksgiving and then it's Christmas and it's like a different season every time and you must just have really great organizational skills in your basement or in your attic. But I figured this year since we're spending a lot of time at home considering um, baby Bransford is due in October, I would decorate a little bit more for fall. I also picked up a ton of the leaf garland they have. I actually want Wanted to make a new wreath for my front door. I had this really beautiful hanging flower thing on my front door. A little bit of information about me. I don't have the best green thumb, so I was really proud that I kept it alive all summer long. And then last week, I just kind of forgot about it and it just died. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people think it's like a Halloween decoration. I'm just like ahead of the game but it's time for it to go. And seasonal wreaths are beautiful, but they're so expensive. And so I just picked up one of the wire wreath frames they have. Then I just grabbed one roll of the decorative mesh they had. I wrapped it around the wreath frame. And then I just used some of these leaf garlands. I just sort of like wrapped them around the wreath. They even had a roll of burlap at the Dollar Tree. And I just used that to like tie a bow and hang it on my front door. I mean, that looks a little better, right? Another thing I picked up a bunch of is just these plain black frames. I have a couple nursery things that I'm hoping to do with them. I needed some smaller frames. I might paint them uh, for the nursery. I might keep them black. I'm not really sure. Next, I picked up some of these pumpkins. They're just like styrofoam pumpkins. Um, I have a couple of DIY ideas of what I'm gonna do with these, uh, but these are great. You can do a lot with them, even if you just spray paint them silver or gold and stick them on your mantle. They look really pretty. You can use chalk paint on them if you kind of want more of a rustic look. Next, I just picked up two of these metal trays. I'm not totally sure exactly what I'm gonna do with them just yet. I've also seen DIYs where people use chalkboard paint on just the interior of these, and they just like are cute little like serving trays, or you can hang them as like a chalkboard. All right, this next find I was really surprised to see at the Dollar Tree, and they have yes to face masks these are the yes to cotton and i just bought some of these yes to masks and i think i paid 2.99 for them and so i was really surprised to see the yes to brand at the dollar tree for only a dollar obviously a dollar it's the dollar tree kelly but i thought this was like a great find and a total steal last but not least i got some stuff in the candle department i picked up two of these glass like vases or tumblers obviously i could use them as a vase maybe i will use one with the flowers that i got not totally sure but I kind of have an idea to fill them up with something and then put one of these candles that I got from the Dollar Tree inside. Something fall related, like some acorns or some corn kernels, I feel like would be really pretty. Um, I also picked up two of these sort of, I don't know what you'd call them. They're kind of like little hanging candle votives, I guess, although I'm probably not gonna hang them. But I just really thought the look of them was really cute and I'm gonna pop some tea lights in there. Oh, I forgot I got one more thing. I got one of those really cute salt and pepper shakers they had. Um, I just couldn't, how could you not? Look at these little squirrel salt and pepper shakers. They're just adorable. But that does it. Thanks for shopping with me, checking out what was new at the Dollar Tree for fall. If you found any cool things at your Dollar Tree that I didn't find, let us know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Next, I picked up, it didn't work out like I thought it would. Okay, right, let's do this thing. Let's do it. I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'm just gonna go for it. YOLO. That's where you can like see me. It's not creepy, just looking at my nose, that's fine. She got turned up at the Dollar Tree. Look at all the stuff she got. I forgot my micro SD card for my uh, microphone 
so we had to run to Staples to buy one. And now we can't get it open. You need like scissors to open this thing. I don't know, it's 2018, you should be able to open anything without scissors, but they've got this thing in there like it is Fort Knox. You would think it's gold inside. Is it a gold SD card? <gasps> you did it. Some of the behind the scenes YouTube, YouTube filming. Gotta have all your cards, all your SD cards, all your batteries, gotta have it all. Yeah.